An excellent means of moving supplies and men is the helicopter. This type of aircraft requires its own LZ, entirely different than those for fixed-wing aircraft. For day landings, a helicopter can land in a space slightly larger than its landing gear and with enough side clearance for its rotors. But should it have to land at night, the LZ must be larger. The helicopter Night LZ is 300 feet in diameter. The center landing area is 170 feet in diameter and must be cleared to the ground of all obstructions and must be firm enough to support the weight of the helicopter. Surrounding the landing area is an area 65 feet wide, cleared to within three feet of the ground. Maximum ground slope is 15%. LZs for rotary wing aircraft are marked to provide identification of the reception committee, to indicate wind direction, and to show touchdown area. Five lights or markers positioned at A, B, C, D, and E form a Y. Stations C, D, and E outline the touchdown area. Identification signals are given from A, where the RCL is positioned. The stem of the Y indicates wind direction. The arrow represents the approach path of the aircraft. Although in some cases the rotary wing aircraft can ascend and descend almost vertically, for planning purposes a climb-glide ratio of 1 to 5 exists. For best results, rotary wing aircraft land upwind, similar to fixed wing aircraft. They will need an approach path about 250 feet wide. The first helicopters will touch down in two hours. Meanwhile, any critically wounded are prepared for evacuation. To set up the Y signal pattern, the direction of the wind is determined. pilot recognizes the correct authentication signal. Had the signal been incorrect or the markers not placed properly, the pilot would have aborted the mission or moved to an alternate LZ. As has been demonstrated, it is practical to land aircraft of various types in almost any seemingly inaccessible place. And where aircraft cannot land, supplies and personnel can be airdropped. With today's practical experience and modern technology, there is no place in the world that cannot be reached and supplied by special forces air operations.